Hey everyone, welcome back to Starcode KE. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to clone and run a Laravel 12 project from GitHub on your local computer. In this tutorial, we'll be using my example GitHub repository called Laravel 12 HR System Management. You can find it on GitHub under my profile, Starcode KH. Before we start setting up the Laravel project, let's make sure you have all the required tools installed on your computer, Git, which we'll use to clone the repository from GitHub, PHP version 8.1 or higher, since Laravel 12 requires PHP 8.1 or newer to work properly, Composer, the package manager for PHP. It's what Laravel uses to install and manage dependencies. And finally, MySQL or any other database that Laravel supports, this is where your app data will be stored. If you're on Mac OS, you can easily install any missing tools using Homebrew. All right, let's get started with step one, cloning the Laravel project. We're going to clone the example project from GitHub using the HTTPS method. Open your terminal or command prompt and type the following command. Git clone https.github.com starcode key laravel 12 ar system management git git will start cloning the entire laravel project from github onto your computer once the project has finished cloning the next step is to go into the project folder the project files folders and code history into a new folder called laravel 12 hr system management now let's move on to step two installing php dependencies Laravel uses a tool called Composer to manage all its backend packages and libraries. So to install them, open your terminal inside the project folder and run this command. This command will download all the required Laravel packages including the framework core files and any third-party libraries the project depends on. Alright, let's move on to step 3, copying the environment file. Laravel uses a special file called .env which stands for environment. To create your own environment file, simply copy it by running this command in the terminal cpnvexample.env. This command duplicates the example file and creates a new .env file which Laravel will use to load your project settings. Next, let's move on to step 4, generating the application key. Every Laravel project needs a unique key that helps keep your application data secure. Things like encrypted sessions and passwords rely on it. Now that we've set up our Laravel project and generated the application key, it's time for step 5, configuring the database. Open your .env file in your project's root directory and scroll down to the section labeled Database Configuration. Before running any Laravel migrations or connecting your project to the database, make sure MySQL is running on your computer. Alright, now that MySQL is running and our database is configured in the .env file, it's time to create all the tables that Laravel has defined for this project. To do that, we'll use Laravel's migration command. In your terminal, type pipartisan migrate. His command runs all migration files inside the database uh, migrations folder and automatically creates tables inside your MySQL database. Next, let's make sure that any uploaded files like user profile photos or documents can be accessed publicly from our app. In your terminal, run this command, ppartisan storage link. This command links the public storage folder to storage app public, so any uploaded files can be easily accessed through your browser. Alright, we're almost done. The final step is to start the Laravel development server and see your project in action. To do that, simply run this command in your terminal, ppartisan serve. This command starts Laravel's built-in development server, which lets you preview your application locally. After running the command, you'll see something like this. Starting Laravel development server, HTTP 127.0.0.18000. If you run into any issues while setting up your Laravel project, don't worry. Here are some quick troubleshooting tips to help you fix them. First, if you get a permission denied error, it usually means your Laravel app doesn't have permission to write to the storage or bootstrap cache folders. You now have a fully working Laravel 12 project cloned directly from GitHub, ready for customization or further development. You'll notice that the first page you see is the login page and that's completely normal. 
If not, look for a register or sign up button to create a new user account or check the database seeder file to see if a default admin user is included. After logging in successfully, you'll be redirected to the dashboard where you can start managing your HR system. On the screen, you can see the main dashboard, which gives a quick overview of the company's HR activities and performance. On the left sidebar, we have the main menu, including dashboards, HR, and HR management sections. Here, you can view all employees in the company, along with their details, such as ID, name, email, designation, performance, and status. From the employee list page, simply click the edit icon next to any employee's name. This will open the edit user form where you can update details such as the employee's name, email, designation, department, and status. After making your changes, click save to update the record. On the employee list page, you'll see a delete icon next to each employee record. On the employee list page, click the add new employee button at the top. This opens a form where you can enter the employee's name, email, phone number, department, position, and role. You can also upload a profile picture if needed. After filling out the details, click save and the new employee will be added to the list instantly. On the employee list page, click the view or details button beside any employee's name. This opens a detailed profile showing all the employee's information including personal details, department, position, contact info, and status. Next, let's explore the holidays list section. Now let's see how to add a new holiday. A form will appear where you can enter the holiday name, date, and an optional description. After filling in the details, click save to add it to the holiday list. This opens the edit holiday form where you can modify the holiday name, date, or description. After making your changes, click update to save them. Now let's see how to delete a holiday from the list. On the holidays list page, click the delete icon next to the holiday you want to remove. Next, let's explore the leave management section. This feature allows employees to apply for leave directly from the system. Each employee can view their leave history, check the status of pending requests, and see how many leave days they have remaining. To request a leave, the employee simply clicks apply leave, fills in the leave type, start and end date, and adds a reason if needed. Once submitted, the request is sent to the HR manager or admin for approval. Now let's see how an employee can add a new leave request. On the leave management page, click the add leave button. Now let's see how the HR manager handles employee leave requests. In the leave management section, HR can view all submitted leave requests from employees, including the employee name, leave type, dates, and reason. Next, let's move on to the attendance management section. This feature allows the HR manager to track and manage employee attendance efficiently. Now let's take a look at the main attendance section. This is where all employee attendance records are displayed in one central view. HR can also filter or search for specific employees or dates to find attendance details quickly. Next, let's explore the department management section. Now let's see how to add a new department in the system. On the department management page, click the add new button at the top. Next, let's look at how to edit a department. On the department management page, find the department you want to update and click the edit icon next to it. Now let's see how to delete a department from the system. A confirmation message will appear to make sure you really want to delete it. And that's a complete walkthrough of our Laravel 12 HR system management project. With all these features combined, this Laravel 12 HR system provides a complete and efficient solution for managing employee data, attendance, and HR operations in one platform. It's simple, powerful, and built with Laravel 12 following modern web development standards. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Laravel tutorials and project demos.